Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio and in this video guide I'm gonna show you how you can install a git on any Linux distribution. So simply open up the terminal and execute the installation command. So if you are using Ubuntu, Debian or any of their derivatives then you can use the advanced packagement tool to install the git. For RPM based distribution like Red Hat, Fedora, CentOS you can use the DNF package manager to install it. For OpenSUSE you can use Zipper, for Arch you can use Pacman. And according to your Linux distribution, you can execute the installation command and Git will get installed in your system. Git is a very popular utility tool and it should be available in your official repository. So simply execute the installation command and it will start to install. So this is Ubuntu. So I'm going to execute the advanced package tool and installation command for the Git. So just type the installation command. It should ask the password, type in the password and then you will see the installation process. This system already has a git install but the version is 2.25. This is not the latest one. So if you are using Ubuntu, Debian or any of their derivatives then you will get a git install in the system but the version can be old. So what you can do, you can add the official repository in the system and install the latest version. So I'm going to show you how to add the repo. Just type sudo hit the enter hit enter again and this would start to update the repos available in the system now you can again execute the installation command for git and as you can see an update is available for git i can simply hit enter again and this would install the latest git in my system. You can verify the currently installed version by typing git hyphen hyphen version and this would output the current available version in your distribution. So this is how you can install a git on any Linux distribution. And now you can simply start setting up your project and uh, connect it with any repo management service like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, etc. etc. So this was the guide. I hope you find it helpful. Leave a like to the video. Hit the subscribe if you haven't and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I shall catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.